Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to graph negative tangents. Now, negative tangents are very much related, as you might imagine, to regular tangents. So let's talk about the tangent graph br briefly, and then we'll talk about how negative tangent graphs uh, are related. So when you have the tangent graph, keep in mind that the tangent graph is a very repeating graph. So for example, if you have a graph for tangent, let me just uh, isolate this, for example. A typical cross-section of a tangent graph is it's surrounded by vertical asymptotes, and the right tail of the tangent graph typically points up, and the left tail tends to point down. Now, imagine this same graph repeated many times over. So like this, like this, and just imagine asymptotes surrounding all of these. Now, how does a negative tangent graph work? Well, a negative tangent graph, if you think about it, the negative sign kind of gives you a what we like to call perhaps a vertical reflection of sorts. So what that means here is the right tail that was pointing up is now going to be pointing down, and the left tail that's pointing down is now going to be pointing up in the negative tangent. So basically, if you have a negative tangent graph, think of every tail being flipped in the opposite direction. So here's what a typical cross-section would look like. If you have vertical asymptotes surrounding this, then the graph would look this way. And then just imagine the same graph many times over. A rough sketch, of course. But that's pretty much what a negative tangent graph looks like because it's a re reflection of sorts from the regular tangent. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to graph negative tangents.